You know, from time to time, we've shown you some of the amazing images from astronaut Reed Wiseman over the last few months, like this one. The Maryland native is just one member of the six-person crew aboard the International Space Station right now. And while he gives us a look at what he sees outside like this, well, this afternoon, Randy Kay gives us a glimpse of what happens inside, hundreds of miles above the Earth. Even getting clean is a challenge. No shower here. Instead, they use towels, wipes, and a rinseless shampoo. And I take my no rinse shampoo and rub it in. Again, kind of working it out to the ends. On board this $100 billion research laboratory, there are never more than six crew members at a time. They stay for about six months which can feel like an eternity living on prepackaged food. Every so often, supply ships, like the one that exploded this week, bring fresh fruit and vegetables. Here at our dinner table, this is a table for six. We don't have plates. Of course, we don't need plates in, uh, in space because, again, everything would just float away. There are no refrigerators in space, and salt and pepper only in liquid form. Otherwise, the particles would be airborne, clogging air vents or getting in an astronaut's eye. Peanut butter on a specially packaged tortilla is a space station staple. A weightless tortilla. Okay, we got one tortilla. Whoa, got away. Most of the day is spent working on science experiments that only a microgravity environment can provide. There are also medical experiments, which can judge how well their bodies adjust to life in space for long periods of time. Of course, sometimes there are spacewalks. Otherwise, it's more mundane stuff, like what you might do at home back on Earth. If you got to change out some filters or you got to, you know, light bulbs burned out, you got to go take time to go change the light bulbs out. And while you may be weightless in space, exercise is a must. Using equipment you won't find on Earth, like this treadmill. We attach by these rings the harness to a system of hooks and bungee cords. Sleeping is easier, as long as the astronauts remember to tie down their sleeping bags. When the mission is complete, a Soyuz spacecraft brings them back to Earth. The return trip takes just three and a half hours. Wow. What an interesting look. 